Euclid's algorithm to find the HCF. Let us find the HCF of 12 and 20. First we pick up the larger of the two numbers 20 and divide it by the smaller number 12. 12 times 1 is 12 which gives us the remainder of 8. Now throughout the algorithm we are not going to be concerned about the quotient. We are only going to consider the remainder. Here the remainder is 8. Now watch carefully. In the next step we make this remainder as the divisor and the previous divisor as our dividend. So we do 12 divided by 8. 8 times 1 is 8 which gives us the remainder of 4. In the next step 4 becomes the divisor and 8 becomes the dividend. 4 times 2 is 8. Now the remainder becomes 0. So we stop here. And our final answer would be the last divisor used. In our case, the last divisor was 4. So the HCF of 12 and 20 is 4. Now let us get a deeper understanding into the same method using a real life example. After this demonstration, we'll discuss how to find the HCF of more than two numbers using the same method. Let us say that Anne's mom has given her 12 pence and 20 pencils. She asks Anne to share it with her friends, the maximum number of friends possible. But she gives her two conditions. There should not be any pencil or pen remaining and all of her friends should get an equal share. But Anne is very lazy. You know what she does? She says, I'll just give it to 20 of my friends. But then everyone wouldn't get an equal share because there are only 12 pens. Now she puts them back together. One group has 12 pens and another has 20 pencils. She thinks of picking the smaller set, 12 pens. So why not give it to only 12 friends? That way they will all get an equal share. Now she finds out that there are 8 pencils remaining. But there shouldn't be any pens or pencils left. So she puts them back and checks. One group has 8 pencils and the other group has 12 sets. She decides to use the smaller group. So what she does now is to the remaining 8 pencils, she distributes the 12 sets which she already made. Wow, that made equal sets for 8 people. But now again, a group of four sets were remaining. These reminders starts annoying her. Now she thinks to herself, finally let's make four groups to share it with four friends alone. And if she still gets any reminders, she would return back everything to her mom again. So she tries to divide the eight groups of pens and pencils which she made to make just four groups and just like magic all remaining four sets fitted perfectly here. There were no more remainders. So finally she got her answer. Four friends. This is the HCF of 12 and 20. Now it's time to find the HCF of three numbers. 120, 144 and 160. To start with, we pick up the first two numbers and find the HCF. 120 and 144. The largest of these two is 144. So we make it the dividend and 120 as the divisor. So 144 divided by 120 gives us a reminder of 24. The next step is to make the dividend 120 and the divisor 24. 
So, we divide 120 by 24. 5 times 24 is 120, which gives us a remainder of 0. So, we stop here and mark our last divisor and that is 24. So, the HCF of 120 and 144 is 24. But we are not done yet. There is another third number, 160. To find the HCF of three numbers, using Euclid's algorithm, we find out the HCF of the first two numbers and then replace it. So, in our next step, we find the HCF of 24 and 160. The answer which we get will be the HCF of all three numbers, 120, 144 and 160. So, 24 and 160. The larger number is 160. So, dividing 160 by 24, we have 6 times 24 is 144 and that gives us the remainder of 16. Now, 16 becomes our new divisor and 24 becomes our new dividend. So, 24 divided by 16 gives us a quotient of 1 and a reminder of 8. So, next step, we bring down the new dividend, 16. So, 16 divided by 8, that divides perfectly to give us a reminder of 0. So, with that, we stop and make our last divisor as our final answer. Thus, the HCF of 120, 144 and 160 is 8. If this video has helped you learn the Euclid's algorithm to find the HCF, give it a like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.